From WFSB, this is an Eyewitness News update. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us on this Wednesday, November 1st. I'm Wendell Edwards. Let's take a look at your top stories today. Police are still looking for the driver of a stolen BMW that struck a tractor trailer in Orange. That crash killing a 14 year old boy who was just riding in the passenger seat. The crash happened Monday morning at the intersection of Route 34, also known as Derby Avenue and Orange Center Road. Now, police say Jassar Ciprian was ejected from the car and killed on the scene. Police say that car had just been stolen from a Milford home 12 minutes before the crash. In Hartford this morning, the search is on for a killer who police say stabbed a man to death while that man was just working on his car. 32 year old Jaleel Alexis Woolery was stabbed yesterday morning on se several times on Sharon Street, not far from where he lived. Police spent yesterday afternoon, as you can see right here, canvassing the neighborhood, looking at surveillance video and talking with neighbors and family members. Hartford police are asking anyone with information to give them a call. In Meriden now, we are working this morning to learn details after a child was hit by a car on Halloween. We know it happened at the intersection of Center Street and Camp Street last night. Officials tell us no injuries were reported, but we're working to get more details and we'll alert you both on air and on the Chumlery app when we do. Healthcare workers will join state lawmakers today to call for increased protections and security while they are on the job. This comes after that visiting nurse, Joyce Grayson, was killed while visiting a client at a transitional home in Willimantic Saturday. Police say the suspect in this case is a registered sex offender, 38 year old Michael Reese. Police arrested him. He is now facing drug charges and a probation violation. Now to update on Israel's war with Hamas. Palestinians are reporting another widespread outage of internet and phone servers in Gaza. This after Israeli airstrikes pounded a refugee camp near Gaza City. You can see apartment buildings were leveled in the attacks while troops on the ground fought with Hamas militants. Hamas says attacks from Israel have killed more than 85 people since this conflict began October 7th. In Naugatuck, police, a, a police officer is now charged with cruelty and assault after tasing a suspect multiple times during an arrest. You take a look at a video on your screen from Officer Nicholas Cajaza's body cam back on October 14th. Now, police say he tased that robbery suspect three times after the suspect took off from officers and rammed into two cruisers. A corrections officer is under arrest, accused of using a computer to try to meet up with an underage girl for sex. Police say 36-year-old Richard Hamill arranged to meet a 14 year old girl at an apartment in Meriden, but it turns out that 14 year old girl was an undercover investigator. Hamill is a correction officer at Manson Youth Institution in Cheshire. Right now, we are working to learn if he still works there. Got a little snow coming down in Norfolk this morning. The ice box of Connecticut indicated here on our first alert live radar. You can see the blues there coming down. Torrington, you might see a couple of flakes mixing in, but it's basically isolated to the northwest uh, corner in the highest elevations. Everybody else is dealing with some rain showers, but there are a couple of flakes out there this morning. We turn our attention to the freeze watch. That's in effect for tonight through tomorrow morning, and that's why we are in first alert mode for tomorrow morning because it's going to get really chilly. All right, as you can see from the satellite and radar, again, a little bit of that snow in the highest elevations. This is not really reaching the ground at this point, and you've got some rain showers in the Connecticut River Valley, so so it's going to be on and off throughout the day today. These scattered rain and snow showers, it's all due to an area of low pressure, which is sneaking in from the Great Lakes, and that's providing us with a little bit of energy this morning. Visibility, it's down where it's uh, those flakes are flying around a little bit in Salisbury, seven miles there. But everybody else is reporting 10, which is good. Even a little partial sunshine now in Hartford. It's trying to break on through the overcast conditions. So it's a pretty sun up, 41 degrees. That's not a bad number, 37, the typical overnight low. But by tomorrow, Tomorrow morning when you join us, these numbers right here will be in the low to mid to upper 20s. It's going to be a very, very chilly start tomorrow morning, and that's why we have gone ahead and issued that first alert for a hard freeze, okay? 35 right now in Salisbury, 36 in Torrington, 38 in uh, Tallinn, 38 in Willimantic, 36 in Putnam. So we're doing okay out there. We're basically down or flat a degree or two in some spots. We're up or a degree or two or four at Bradley. So basically we're flat from where where we were 24 hours ago. There's a little bit of a sustained breeze out there, particularly along the shoreline. You'll notice 10 to 12 to 13 miles an hour. That's adding to the chill. 
So you've got a little bit of a wind chill factor out there this morning. It's not too significant in inland Connecticut, but nonetheless, it's just a gentle breeze, which you're going to notice. All right, we're caught between these two areas of low pressure. This is a coastal storm, which really doesn't have too much of an impact on us. It's not a big player for us. It's this area of low pressure right here sneaking out of the Great Lakes. It moves right over Connecticut by about 6 p.m. this evening. We start to see everything clear out. The sun should be beautiful as it sets. Uh, at about 544 this uh, afternoon, pretty close to that. And then tomorrow morning is just cold and clear as high pressure moves in and dominates for several days. OK, so here's the live eye cam of New Haven, 44 degrees there. You can see they're mostly overcast conditions. You've got uh, mostly dry conditions right now in Waterbury. A couple of raindrops making it onto the ground, a couple of wet road surfaces. So just be careful. Old Saybrook, a very pretty eye cam there. Here's your hour by hour raindrops with temperatures moving into the low to possibly mid 40s. More of the same for the immediate shoreline. You'll notice the raindrops there as well. Temperatures moving into the mid to upper 40s. So plan accordingly. You're going to need a coat out there. Temperatures again only in the mid 40s during the day today. That's not much of a rise from where we are right now. Look at your overnight low, uh, overnight lows tonight. Whoa, 24. Woo. 25, 27s, 28s, low 30s along the shoreline. Hard freeze expected, and then your seven day forecasting starts to moderate tomorrow. 51, still below average, right where we should be for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. The temperatures start marching up into the low 60s, so that's something worth looking forward to. Wendell, that's a check of your first alert forecast. We'll send it back to you. Thank you, Scott. We thank you for tuning in to Eyewitness News on this Wednesday, November 1st. Remember, you can get news and weather updates anytime on the Channel 3 app. Let's leave you with this live look this morning. We hope you have a great day.